Welcome to Vion. Let's dive straight into something genuinely, well, puzzling happening up on Mars right now. NASA's Perseverance rover. It's been exploring Jezero Crater since uh, early 2021, and it's stumbled upon a really unexpected find. Yeah, it really has. And it's the sheer number that's uh, kind of staggering. We're talking over 4,000. 4,000, wow. Yeah, these unusually bright sort of pebble-sized rocks just scattered all over the crater floor. Bright white pebbles on Mars. Uh, okay, so what makes them so weird apart from the color and number? Well, it's really about what they don't seem to have. The initial analysis from Perseverance, it's showing they're incredibly dehydrated. Dehydrated, okay. Like lacking it. water. Exactly. But maybe even more surprising, they're also lacking or very low on key minerals you'd normally expect. Like what kind of minerals? Things like, you know, iron, magnesium, hmm. calcium, sodium. The basics, really. Huh. So stripped bare, almost. Pretty much. Yeah. One of the scientists on the team, Candace Bedford over at Purdue. Uh -huh. She described them as very unusual. And while well, the team's really scratching their heads trying to figure out their origin story. So this extreme dryness, this lack of minerals, yeah. it points to something pretty intense happening to them, geologically speaking. That's the thinking, yeah. Some kind of intense process. You'd need conditions, maybe a significant heat or pressure to strip away elements like that. Right. Candace Bedford actually floated a couple of ideas. Like maybe ancient lava flows. Okay, volcanic activity. Or perhaps a uh, major asteroid impact, something that could really cook or squeeze these rocks before they somehow ended up scattered in the crater. Okay, let's unpack that. So these these white rocks, they're hinting at potentially really dramatic stuff in Mars's early history. Exactly. Huge volcanic eruptions, maybe, or these cataclysmic impacts. And this all ties back to Jezreel Crater itself, which we know had water once, but is bone dry now. Precisely. The timing is key, isn't it? Did this happen before the lake formed or somehow after? Understanding how and when these rocks formed could give us vital clues about Mars' early environment. It raises that fundamental question. You know, what kind of conditions on early Mars could even make rocks like this? That's the puzzle. And the story isn't over because Perseverance is actually on the move, right? heading towards the crater rim. That's right. And interestingly, they've spotted more of these light-toned rocks up there near the rim. So potentially older rocks, maybe? More clues? Potentially. It hints that there are more chapters to this geological mystery kind of locked away in Mars's crust and its uh, ancient climate records. It's like Mars is just slowly revealing these little geological breadcrumbs. Kind of, yeah. Examining those rim rocks might help us piece together the history of these unusual white ones and just how Jezero Crater evolved over time. And I guess the ultimate goal here, the really exciting part, is actually getting some of these back to Earth. Oh, absolutely. That's the plan with NASA's Mars Sample Return Program. Bring these and other samples back for study here. Because the labs here can do things the rover just can't, however sophisticated it is. Exactly. The level of analysis we can do on Earth with advanced instruments mm -hmm. It's just a different league. It could completely revolutionize our understanding of the red planet. Unlocking secrets about its past, maybe even, you know, whether it could have supported life once. That's the hope. These little white rocks might hold some surprisingly big answers. Fascinating <laughs> stuff. Stay tuned to Vion N for more such intriguing stories to come.